hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today's topic is neurological level of injury how to identify which neurological level is involved in the patient of spinal cord injury so basically a neurological level of injury is one component of asia scale asia scale is american spinal cord injury association scale and it was developed by international neurological classification for spinal cord injury so mainly we can say the asia scale has been divided into evaluation of a sensory level uh, motor level neurological level of injury uh, completeness and incompleteness of injury and ultimately you uh, classify the client into a uh, five different uh, scales which are asia scale a B, C, D, and E. So here, primarily today, we are focusing only on clearing the concepts on neurological level of injury. So how you can go ahead with it. So basically, evaluation of the neurological level of injury depends on two things: evaluation of the sensory level and motor level. So first, we are moving forward with a sensory level. So let's moving forward for sensory level. For sensory level, we are gonna evaluate two sensory modalities primarily, which is light touch and pin prick, according to the dermatomal pattern. So for each dermatomal pattern, there is a key sensory point area which you need to evaluate for the sensory level. So when you do the marking or the grading on the scale, it is going to be zero, one, or two. Uh, zero it is going to be absent one it is going to be impaired sensation and two it is considered as a normal sensation also there is a clause for non tasteable area because of pain or a bandage you are not able to develop the sensory area at the specific point then it is going to be considered considered as an NT or which you are not going to consider so for the evaluation you are going to consider as as in if you are considering T2 as uh, you're grading it as 2 and all above all also 2 that T2 area is going to be considered as a sensory level it can be the right or left uh, let's continue for the example we are uh, only gonna consider uh, from T1 to let's say T5 mm, not more than that uh, uh, in actual reality you'll be having a complete scale of all dermatome this is a small example of it we are marking the pillars for light touch sensation and uh, pin prick on the right and the left. So let's say for T1 it is 2 uh, on the right and 2 on the left as well. Uh, for T2 it is 2 and 2 again. T3 let's say 2 on right, 1 on left, T4 0 0, T5 0 0. Same way for pin prick let's say 2 2, 2 2 for T2 and t3 t2 and 0 for left and all 0 down that line so as according to we discussed 2 at the same level and all above should be 2 t2 on the left side it is going to be considered as sensory level for pin prick same uh, rule applies for t3 right side pin prick level sensory level so and let's continue for light touch as you can see t3 all about 2 down all 0 t3 light touch sensory level on the right and t2 light touch sensory level on the left so if you club on an average sensory level for so sensory level for that patient is going to be t2 so now we have evaluated sensory level for that person or a patient now moving forward we are going to evaluate the second component of neurological level of injury which is motor level for the motor level we are going to evaluate uh, primarily 10 key muscles of the body five will be from the upper limb and five will be from the lower limb so for the scaling pattern we are again going to evaluate the same scaling pattern of manual muscle testing which is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and there is also a clause for non testable again patient who is in severe pain it is going to be considered as not testable or the range is restricted more than 50% of the range of restricted because of the contracture 
it is also not going to be considered and it is going to be marked as empty now the line specific uh, requirement for motor level is going to be the, the level which is 3 out of 5 at least and whereas all above are 5 out of 5 is going to be considered as a motor level for that patient uh, let's continue with the example uh, we are gonna continue with the we are going to evaluate the upper body muscles which are C5, 6, 7, 8 and T1 uh, for the right side and the left side I have already explained the scaling uh, for the evaluation this 5 myotomes you are going to evaluate let's say C5 which is 5, 5, C6, 5, 5 C7 we can say 3, 3 C8, 3, 2 and T1 it is 0, 0 so this is just a hypothetical example so as we quoted 3 out of 5 at the same and all above are 5 out of 5 or 3 out of 5 it is going to be considered as a motor level C8 on the right and motor level C7 on the left. So on an average for this patient motor level it is going to be C7. So that's how uh, our second component is also uh, over which is motor level evaluation. because C7 we are concluding because at that level we have 3 out of 5 and all above are also 3 out of 5 or higher than that which is 5 out of 5 so that's why motor level for this patient now let's take one case scenario so this is a special case of spinal cord injury where you are having uh, 5 out of 5 grade for motor level in all upper limbs whereas you are having 0 out of 5 for all lower limbs so this is a very special case scenario where you will be feeling confused especially regarding motor level so I would advise you to continue with the sensory evaluation same as what we have discussed motor evaluation the method is going to be same but the conclusion it is going to be a little bit different so i would like to add on that clinically all muscle evaluation uh, needs to be done but for specifically asia scale we are only going to be considering the 10 key muscles of the body uh, so that way upper limb five muscles and lower limb five muscles you are going to evaluate but for uh, full examination of spinal cord it is important to evaluate the important clinical muscles which is supplied by this specific myotome so let's continue with the example as I've already explained let's say upper limb all 5 out of 5 for the motor and lower limb let's consider that all the muscles are uh, 0 uh, for sensory level I'm only going to be considered the down level uh, so let's say T12 yeah motor level all lower limb muscles are created as zero there is no power in the muscle let's say T12 it is 0 0 whereas T11 it is 2 2 I'm keeping it very simple no complication just for easy understanding same as in a light touch pin prick 2 2 2 2 on T11 whereas T12 down all the uh, sensory supply 0 0 I'm just writing this for clear differentiation so again it's easy for you sensory level for this person it is going to be T11 because as you can find light, light touch pin prick right and left all are 2 2 what about motor level now because you are evaluating the motor level is also important so for this either it is going to be T1 uh, because down the line all muscles are 0 no. for this type of case scenarios you are going to consider sensory level as a motor level because where all upper limb muscles are uh, let's say 5 out of 5 and lower limb muscles are zero the sensory, sensory level of the patient is going to be considered as a motor level so on the basis of that further evaluation it is going to be needed but on the asia scale you're gonna quote it as 
same as in sensory level as motor level for this type of case scenarios so that was all from my side thank you so much uh, for the kind listening and tell me if you need a full lecture series or a full video on asia examination where i'll be covering all the component of asia evaluation please do subscribe my channel and like this video we'll see you soon on the next video thank you so much everyone Thank you.